CBS will premiere the show on Sunday, using the network exposure as a tease intended to drive people to CBS All Access, its subscription streaming service. The twist satellite introduction comes after a spin-off of The Good Wife, titled The Good Fight, attracting nearly 8 million viewers for its network debut. The network isn't releasing specific data for all access but has renewed that show for a second season. By leveraging Trek in this fashion to the chagrin of some fans CBS is essentially mirroring the strategy that Paramount employed in the MID 1990s, when it used Star Trek Voyager as the cornerstone of its then-fledgling network, UPN. There were, in fact, even earlier plans to lean on Gene Roddenberry's creation to sell stations on a new network, dating back to the syndicated introduction of Star Trek The Next Generation in 1987. Admittedly, the latest edition of Star Trek, featuring a cast that includes The Walking Dead Senequa Martin Green, Michelle Yeoh and Jason Isaacs, arrives in a media world almost as complicated as the one Roddenberry envisioned. That begins with the rights to Star Trek, which were split between Paramount, which distributes the movies and CBS, which handles the TV component, when Viacom implemented a corporate divorce of the two in 2006. For a series famously cancelled after three seasons in its original voyage, Star Trek has gone on to generate billions of dollars in revenue from five prior Leviction series and 13 movies. Perhaps more significantly, it possesses an inordinately passionate fan base, the kind of ardor that's required, in theory, to get people to ante up for a fledgling service. Trekkers, however, are also known for their skepticism, which has been fueled by the delays and the departure of producer Brian Fuller Hannibal, American Gods, after reported clashes over the show's creative direction. CBS clearly knows what it's doing, or at least hoping to do convert a significant percentage of those Star Trek fans who sample the program into subscribers paying $5.99 a month. On a call with investors last month, CBS CEO Leslie Moons called the series the perfect vehicle to take all access to the next level and beyond. Like most streaming shows, success will be relative. But given its long history, Star Trek Discovery comes armed with a sort of awareness designed to help the show live long enough for CBS to prosper. Star Trek Discovery premieres September 24 at 8.30 p.m. on CBS. DVR alert the start could be delayed by football. Kimoni Los Angeles first published September 22, 2017, 236 p.m. Eastern Time.